assalamu alaikum friends you are watching star technology 5g in today video i will show you how you can write data string on lcd in last video we write data one by one that is not a very efficient technique let's start the video how to write data string on lcd project description in this project we will use the 16 by 2 character lcd and lcd is connected with port c and en rs and rw pin of the lcd are connected with rt0 rt1 and rt2 pin of the port d of the pic 16 and 007 microcontroller and the microcontroller operated with the 4 MHz crystal and we will use the 8 bit mode circuit diagram we are using pic 16 f 007 microcontroller pin number 13 and 14 interface with the 4 MHz crystal and we are using 22 pf capacitor pin number 1 is the master reset Port number C is interface with the LCD and we are using 8 bit LCD mode. As you can see, D0 to D7, these are the data pin of the LCD, and here is the control pin of the LCD. We are using RD0, RD1, and RD2 pin. Interface with enable pin, read write pin, and RS pin. Pin number 3 is a contrast pin, and pin number 2 is VCC pin, and pin number 1 is a ground pin. Let's write circuit in a Proteus. After that, we will write its code in a MP11. Friend circuit is ready. Now it's time to write the code in MPLAB. After that, we will test this circuit. main file is ready i already wrote a code otherwise you do get very long i will copy this code and i will paste it i will explain you the code here is the pic 16 or double seven bit configuration that is xc hydro file and that is pic 16 or double seven hydro file here we define a crystal frequency, we are using 4 MHz crystal, here we define a LCD on port number C, here we define a EN pin on RD0 pin, here we define a RW pin on RD1 pin, here we define RS pin at RD2 pin. Here is the function of the LCD initialize, here is the function of the LCD command send, here is the function of the LCD data send, and here is the function of the LCD data send string. Here is the function of the delay and here is the main code start. 
in main code we set the trisc port is equal to a zero we will set port c as output port after that we will set trisd rt0 rt1 and rd2 pin as a output after that we will call the initialize function here is the function of the initialize and we are using 8 bit mode and we will set the 8 bit mode and we will set cursor on display on and after that we will clear the lcd after that we will take a delay for 200 milliseconds and after that we will send lcd data string start technology it will write complete data string on lcd in last video we will send data one by one and it display on the lcd but in this video we will send complete data string on the lcd here you can see here is the function of the lcd command any command we will send from here it will come here in x variable we will send that x to the lcd after that we will set rs is equal to a 0 rw is equal to a 0 and we will send en is equal to a 1 after that we will take delay and we will set en is equal to a 0 and it will send that command to the lcd and if we want to send data to the lcd any data we will send in this lcd string it will come here you can see here is the function of the lcd string in lcd string we are using unsigned char variable static dot str it will stay in this loop until data will not finish you can see here is the while loop it will stay in while loop until data will not finish and after that we will send lcd static str plus plus we will increment the data it will send that data to the lcd data here is the function of the lcd data any data will come here we will send that data to the lcd we will set rs is equal to a 1 rw is equal to a 0 en is equal to a 1 we will take delay and after that we will send en is equal to a 0 in next step it will increment the data you can see here is the almost 15 character on this data string and it will stay until the data is not finished in next step it will increment the data and it will send that data to the lcd and in that lcd data display data on the lcd and it will display all data string after that we have function of the delay we are using unsigned char z and we are using that z into a for loop and that for loop creates some delay for us now we will create its x file just click on build main project now file is created now we will load this file into our project now we click on the controller and select x file next up lcd lcd t data string default production here is the x file and here is the x file open ok run simulation here you can see it display data start technology and if you want to change the data you can write here any data subscribe create x file and load that file into project stop and select x file here is the x file ok ok run simulation you can see subscribe ok friend if you have any problem in code let me know in the comments and keep watching star technology 5g